I've told this to, on other occasions. I, I will never forget it for as long as I live. I was invited for a television interview, national television, uh, discussing experts, discussing religious questions. Well, I was very fortunate to be invited. And when I arrived there, I found that they only had, a, only had invited another expert, and he was an atheist. So I thought to myself, how come they invite for this discussion an atheist and me, a hot evangelist? And then I got that, wow, I think they have done this because they won a good fight. And I must confess, my German nature sometimes is still quite awake. I like a good fight myself, especially when it comes to Jesus. I spoke of a good fight. Now, here the moderator starts to talk. We are live on television, nationwide. And here the atheist takes off. And he says, Bonky, you preach that there's power in the blood of Jesus. I said, yes, I do. He said, I believe there is no power in the blood of Jesus whatsoever. I said, why do you say that? He said, because the blood of Jesus is already 2,000 years in this world. And the world today is worse than it was 2,000 years ago. And because the presence of the blood of Jesus in this world has not made this world better, but it has become worse, that's why I say there is no power in the blood of Jesus. I said, Mr. Wait. I want to reply. I said, Mister, there is also soap in this world, yet many people are still dirty. I said, Mister, let me explain to you how soap works, in case you don't know. I said, if I am dirty and I stand next to a piece of soap I will not be automatically clean soap doesn't work automatically no matter how close you get to it I said mister you won't even be clean even if you should work in a soap factory I said, now, mister, this is what's going to happen. If you want to know what soap can do, you've got to reach out with your hand. Get that piece of soap and start to apply it. Amen! Oh! I said, if you do, you will know that there's power in the soap. I said, and so it is with the blood of Jesus. It's not enough to know it. It's not enough to sing about it. It's not enough to preach about it. I said, Mr. Now I dare you reach out for the blood of Jesus. Apply it to your sinful life. And if you do, something will happen to you. What has already happened to hundreds of millions of people all over the world. You will jump up. You will throw up your arms. You will shout. You will sing. You will say, there's power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. Amen! Hey! <laughs> This man looked at me, he, he said, oh, Bonke, you are different. <laughs> I said, what do you mean? Well, he said, I met some evangelists before, but you are different. Something is emanating from you. <laughs> he said, I already tried to analyze what the difference may be between the other evangelists I met and you. I think he said the others 
are amateurs and you are a professional. <laughs> I said, Mister, I'm sorry to say, but you are wrong again. I said, I'm not a professional evangelist. I tell you what I am and who I am. I said to him, I am a living piece of evidence that there is power in the blood of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. There is power in the blood of Jesus. Now I still must tell you this. When I left television house, walking to my car, suddenly it, somebody tapped me on my shoulder. I look around. My atheist. He said to me, Bonke, would you please pray for me?